Greetings, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to revisit something I've done in the past, but we're going to do this in a little more traditional manner. We are going to do a smoked salmon fillet. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we got to do to smoke this salmon is make our dry brine. And what I've done is I've got two cups of brown sugar, one half cup of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper that I'm just going to work together. And then we're going to set this aside. I've got a two and a half pound uh, wild sockeye salmon fillet here that I have rinsed and patted dry and I'm gonna run my fingers down through here and make sure that there's no bones left if you find a bone you just want to take a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers and pull it out I think this one's good there's none left in there and I'm gonna cut this into four equal pieces that are gonna work out about like that and then we're going to transfer these. I'm going to use a glass baking dish, so I'll show you what we're going to do next. I'm going to line the bottom of this dish with some of our sugar mixture that we made. And then we're just going to set our salmon fillets right in on top of that, just like this. And then we're going to coat the tops of these with the rest of our dry brine. And we're just going to kind of spread it on there evenly. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this in here, even though it's probably a little more than I need. We'll be good. So, my baking dish has a cover on it, or a cover for it. But if you don't have a cover for your baking dish, the next thing you want to do here is use a piece of plastic wrap to cover the top of this. But push the plastic wrap down against your fish and pack it good and tight and try to get as much of the air out as possible and then put another layer on top. So what we're going to do from here is cover this and we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it uh, cure for 8 to 12 hours. Okay we've had our fish brining in this cure for about 12 hours and you can have a look at that and you can see how much moisture that cure is drawn out of here. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to rinse these off in cool water. After I get these rinsed off, we are going to pat them dry, as dry as possible, with some dry clean paper towels. And after we get them dried down, we're going to set these on a rack. And we're going to let these sit out at room temperature. I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, I've got these on my rack here where they can get air, uh, top and bottom. And we're going to let these sit out for approximately uh, 90 minutes, maybe two hours. And there's going to, these are going to form a pellicle, which is a little skin that you'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that on the video. So let these sit out at room temp for about two hours. Okay, now it's time to fire up the grill. I've got one of our Kamado Joe fire starter cubes sitting right down here in a well of my charcoal. I'm going to light that up and we're going to let it burn for about 10 minutes or so with the lid open. Okay, after we get our fire going, I'm going to set a couple of chunks of apple wood right in here to get some smoke for this fish. And then I'm going to set each of my half moon heat deflectors down in the lowest position on the grill and then we're going to set our grill grates in the top position on the grill and we're going to try to stabilize this grill at a really low temperature today I'm going to try to get it somewhere between 150 and 175 degrees and for us to get to 150 between 150 and 175 degrees I'm going to close my lower vent to about a half an inch open and then I'm going to close the slider all the way on the top vent and let the daisy wheel be about 
25% open or so and we're just going to let this come up to temperature and if we need to make any adjustments we may have to make some adjustments here and if it's warmer than I want it we'll close up the bottom just a little bit also okay my grills coming up to temp it's just under 150 degrees at the moment so I'm gonna open it up here and I'm gonna hit the grill with a little bit of cooking spray to keep the fish from sticking we shouldn't have a problem with it sticking but we're gonna set each of these four salmon fillets right here in the center of the grill so we'll pull this forward a little bit and then we're going to close the grill back up and continue to watch our tent because like I said we want to stop this thing before it gets up above 175 and we're gonna let this smoke for somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours okay we've been going for about an hour and 30 minutes and the grills holding pretty good around 165 or 170 so what I'm gonna do here for the last 30 minutes or so of our cook I'm gonna baste a little bit of honey onto the top of each of these and we're gonna let it go for another 30 minutes and man I can't wait to taste this this is looking so good we're gonna have a uh, little honey glaze on top of that so we'll be back in about 30 minutes here to have a final look at these before we take them off the grill okay Joe fans look at that these are perfect I'm gonna get these off the grill we're gonna take them in and let's have a taste test okay folks it's time to try this out I'm gonna cut a little piece in here uh, take a little piece out of the center here man that stuff's just flaking apart oh man looks absolutely delicious oh man oh that's fantastic this might very well be some of the best salmon I've ever had guys you've got to try this and one note about low super low smoking like this uh, keep that grill to keep your grill temperature down where we were at hundred and we stayed we settled out about 170 degrees in the dome so that means we were probably about 160 at the grate uh, because the grates a good bit lower than the dome thermometer the only way you can maintain a temperature like that is to keep the lid shut on the grill you got to keep the lid shut if you open the if you open the grill to, to look at this during that time uh, the fire is going to stoke up and it's going to get up you know 200 two and a quarter before you know it so trust yourself keep the lid shut give this a try man that's outstanding can't wait to do some stuff with this I'm going to vacuum seal my leftovers and throw them in the refrigerator till I'm ready to use them but there are tons of things to do with smoked salmon you can make great appetizers with this or you can serve a piece of this as a meal so give this a try let me know what you think join us on Facebook facebook.com slash Kamado Joe and subscribe to our video channel so you'll get updates each time we publish a new video until next time this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe cooking channel